Hi, welcome to Pragmatic Agility, the channel where we solve common practical programming challenges that vary in difficulty and language as quickly as we can. In this challenge, we need to query out employees with their supervisor using a table that has a self-reference as the design choice. So we have a one-to-many employees table that references itself with respect to reports to, which we're going to call the supervisor. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up my dBeaver application. I'm going to open up a new SQL editor. And I'm going to go ahead and start typing. So we're going to select. What do we want to select? I don't know yet. I'm going to leave that blank. And we're going to say from. What tables do we need? We need two. But they're the same tables. I'm going to give it an alias of subordinate. It's kind of a long alias, but it's OK. And we need a second table. And when it needs to be employees again, we give this one an alias of supervisor, really highlighting what each table instance does. Need to add in the relationship so that we don't create a Cartesian product. So where subordinate dot, oh, which one do we use? The employee number or the reports to? Well, we're going to use the reports to. Reports to equal supervisor dot employee number. Let's go back and add to our selection. Let's see, I want the subordinate first name. I want the subordinate job title. Now I want the supervisor first name as soup sup first name. And then I want the supervisor dot job title as sup again job title. Let's see what we get back. Let's go ahead and run this. All right. Looks like we have something. We have Mary, who is VP of Sales. Supervisor is Diane, who is the president. That makes sense. We have a bunch of sales reps with sales managers as their supervisors. That makes sense. But, <coughs> sorry, been battling a bit of a cold here. We've got two Leslies. Are they the same Leslies? Well, let's pull out the first name. If they are, that might mean there's some kind of mistake in our query, but I'm pretty sure that they're different. So let's run that again with the last name. Two Leslies, both with different last names. Okay, this query looks like it's correct, but there's one subtle nuance that we might have missed, and that is if we have an employee that does not have a supervisor, they will not show up in this query because they will have nothing in the reports to field. We are using an inner join here. So if we need to account for the possibility of that field being empty, we need to switch this to a left outer join. So let's go ahead and do that and see if we get any differences. So we're going to have to change our query a little bit. We're going to have to get rid of this, get rid of that comma. And we need to left join. And we need to get rid of this. We need to define the table again, employees, supervisor, on, subordinate, dot reports to, equal supervisor employee number. Now let's see if this gives us some different results. Again, we switch from an inner join to a left join to accommodate the possibility that someone might not have a supervisor. Oh, it looks like we found one. We found out that... Diane, who is the president, does not have a supervisor. That does kind of make sense. Again, this is a small test database. If you're working in a production database, you may see many examples of people who don't have supervisors. So be sure to iron out whether or not you need an inner join or one of those other joins, like left, right, full, cross, to get the correct results. Anyways, this has been, uh, what did I call this channel again? Uh, Progress. This is Pragmatic Agility. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, if you didn't like it, don't even bother giving it a thumbs down. Just It wasn't worth your time. Just skip that altogether.